Okay, guys. Back on the red-headed stepchild. Now, what did we do to the red-headed stepchild? We did a quickie bowl blend with a real rough burr. How much could it change things, right? Well, it did narrow our path in the bowl a little bit. That is definitely a little narrower. But you can see we're starting to get some on the other side of the guide. As far as the chamber, that looks like that looks great. And there is a lot all the way over to the exhaust. You can see it coming right across the exhaust valve. And there's quite a big snot there. Let's see what the bore looks like. As far as I'm concerned, there is a lot less on this bore and a lot more on the chamber. So that should tell us something. Now, those were taken at 500 lift, just like the last ones. I'm not sure it's going to show up on camera, but right by that bottom cut on your short side radius, there is a very light powdering of blue. And we can see it on the valve. Okay, you can see we got a lot there. And there's a light powdering all around here. That's pretty cool. I really can't remember that ever happening, to be honest. It's always, it's always something like that on the back of the bowl. I can't remember anything really coming around on the short side. I mean, anything's possible, but. So, let's take a look right down its throat. Let me change my lighting. Okay, if you notice, the dicum went deeper into the bowl. All right, it wasn't nearly that deep. You can see I did not go crazy with the bowl blend. It was really just a quick cleanup, narrow the guide a little bit, and that's it. Did the same thing on the exhaust. We can take a look at the exhaust. Pinch hasn't been touched. Okay, exhaust, same thing. Ground it out with a relatively rough burr. Send it. That's it. Okay, I take uh, did this with a relatively rough burr. And you can see I radius that bottom cut right out. I may have shrunk the 45 a little bit. I will probably shrink the 45 more before it all is all said and done. And we just took that big... Uh, shelf off the short side still very rough just a quickie bowl blend now was it worth any cfm let's take a look okay i apologize for the messy page but gotta do what you gotta do now i said i would retake these after i checked the bench for leakage i did get rid of my leak but it didn't change that much let's see if we can find that other page Okay, that's what they were with the bench leakage. Topped out 141.8. Fix the bench. 141. That's what it is, guys. And it was so good that I had to pull the bench down and check it. We are 200.2 on number th on number four intake. And it flowed 300.6 on number four. So this is accurate with good leakage. Yeah, it sounds very high to me too. I am, I am thrilled they do that well. I mean, it's not really that big a surprise. I mean, it's, it's a Chevy bow tie head. They just changed it a little bit in reality. They shrunk it a little bit. But they shrunk it in the right spots. Makes a big difference. In fact, I can probably get every bit of... Well, maybe not. They may not be quite as thick. The bow ties were nice and thick. I can go 300 plus on a bow tie. Not sure what I can get out of these. We did 276 on my other ones. They only got a 202. You can put any, any size Chevy valve you want on these. Okay. We should mention these are our 67 cc chambers. Makes a difference. Okay, so this was completely stock flows without leakage. And for S and Gs, I put my 1204 hard radius on it, not clay. This is clay. It went to 235. 
So that is exactly what's on Stan's uh, website for a set of these. There's two different sets of numbers. One was 210, 135, exactly what uh, Dart has on their web page. And the other one is 235. I forget what the exhaust was, 150 something, something like that. Maybe a little less. I don't remember. In any case, nice usable swirl curve, right? We're still 204 at 300. Not bad. It's a 194, guys. Not bad at all, okay? Okay, so here we do a bowl blend. Intake. Same 194, same back cut. Let's put pluses and minuses in because it might surprise you. Okay, how do we do? Minus, minus, minus. Not unusual for when I start getting into my porting, right? Completely unported is usually the best at the real low numbers. Even though you got all kinds of protrusions in your path, it just kind of works out that way. I'm not, I don't have an answer. But as we head down, plus, 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 top out at 251. At 500, we're at 246. It's not a huge difference from where it was. But it's just a quickie ball blend. It's not like I took a ton of metal out of it. Basically a cleanup with a very rough burr. Now, does the texture make a difference? Sure. Rough texture does what to your boundary layer? Makes it thicker, so it actually shrinks the bowl up a little bit. But it's an intake. You want rough surface on it because you want to keep that fuel in, in suspension. So how did we do as far as our swirl? Let's, uh, let's put pluses and minuses in on the swirl, see how we did. Okay, mostly negatives. Negative, negative, plus, negative, 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 plus, negative, negative, negative. And at 500, with 2,500, that's more than enough. So this is a, quite a usable curve, not a problem. In fact, I'd rather have it 25 than 27. Okay, it's interesting that the swirl is that high on a completely stock head, right? Okay. How did our exhaust do with a bowl blend? Well, let's compare it to this one, because I didn't redo the exhaust. I only redid the intake. So these are with the leakage. So they're a touch high. I don't care. Close enough, because it's all getting changed anyway. Let's put some pluses and minuses in. Okay. It looks like the exhaust takes a beating at the low lifts. Minus, 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 minus. Until we get to 300, and then we start going. Look at how much we wind up gaining. Now, I did goof this up, because instead of it being starting in this column, I wrote it one up, okay? So this is 800, 700, 600, 500, okay? So we did 500, which is 8, 7, 6, 5, 171. And then I put a pipe on it. I put an inch and 5 eighth on it. It went 1.762. Put an inch and seven eighth pipe on it. It goes 1.189.6. Now, the owner of these says he may go with a bigger set of headers. So we may put a little bit bigger exhaust port in here. Now, what we're going to dictate that on is the airspeed in the exhaust port, just like we're doing on the intake port. Okay. Um, he's got a bunch of posted... Uh, Airspeeds you'd like to stick close to, and we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. Now let's take a look at our airspeeds in the port. See how they did. Okay, guys, this was our original one with the air leakage, but we kept those airspeeds. They're gonna be pretty close to what we got. So bowl blend. How did we do on our airspeed? Well, top of the pinch came alive. All right, got plus plus minus. Way more even than what we had here. Okay. That was quite low on the top. You got to remember our TPI intake is going to be aimed towards the top of that port. We may do some trickery with the pension stuff and the roof right there. We'll see how it does. Um, hopefully I get some time this weekend to unbox all the goodies and start fiddling with stuff. Let's take a look how we did on our roof. Okay, this is what we were. This is what we are. We lost a lot of speed on our roof. Not necessarily good, right? We would like to have them as even as possible. Take a look at our short side. They all got a lot faster. 
Okay, so we got a lot more air across the short side and some dicum too. Lost some airspeed here, but we gained CFM, so you got to take it where you can get it, I guess. Now, you have to remember that short side is still 100% stock. It's, it's right out of the box. I didn't change the height. I didn't change the width. I didn't change the layback. None of it. It's exactly as it was, just uh, machined out that little, that little ridge it had, and that wasn't that much on the short side. So, guys, not bad for, you know, I'm not going to say it was fast. I don't do anything fast. It probably took me an hour and a half to do two bowl blends, you know. Everyone else does them in five minutes. I can't do it in five minutes. I don't, I don't know how these guys do it. They just bang it out in no time. But. I don't really think they put a radius on the exhaust and stuff like that, like I do either. They have machines to do that, you know? I got to do everything by hand. Well, for now, until I make some money. Overall, with just a bowl blend on the intake and exhaust, did we get 250? I know it's on the page somewhere. 251? 251. You know you need a ported Victor Jr. to even keep up with it. And a pretty well ported Victor Jr. Okay? Keep that in mind. These are an easy 500 horse head with, with a ball blend. <laughs> on a decently built small block. You put it on a 383 with a mild hydraulic roller cam. Well, not so mild, but a rumpy street cam. And uh, you can get 500 horse out of these without too much sweat. Now, remember, I didn't CC these. I got to CC these over the weekend. But I'm going to say this port is not more than... If, I, if they originally are 170 like I think they are, they may be 172 on the intakes right now. Okay, not quite super stock numbers, but not bad for what they are. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.